song out today from Tatiana Manoy. Rhythms is the name of the song and I cannot wait to hear. We've heard her before and now I get to hear a brand new song from her again. Can't wait to see her in person. Mental health awareness to the world is our mission. Without further ado, her voice impeccable. Her presentation, I cannot wait to see this video. Tatiana Manoy, Rhythm. Rhythms. 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 I'm stuck in this rhythm Ooh. I'm trying to escape But I can't get rid of What runs through my veins mm. It's just like a river and she talked about it being stuck in a rhythm. You know, sometimes you're stuck in a rut. Sometimes you're stuck in a, a rhythm that actually isn't good for you. Sometimes you're stuck in a really good rhythm. But you can't get rid of this stuff that's in her veins. And when something's in your veins, it's in your blood. It's part of who you are. It's part of your DNA. You can't deny that. And so sometimes we are in a tough spot. And it's trying to find the right rhythm. It's trying to find the right pace. It's trying to find the right people, the right situation. And what a voice. It's like there is country music in her. And then I've heard not country. So this is really good. This, I mean, I grew up on country music. But I don't know that this is considered country. Oh, what runs through my veins. Yep. It's just like a river. Going back round again mm. Said I'm stuck in this rhythm I can't seem to break yep. And I get so tired Of the way that I'm wired Inside of Remember this, sometimes we're in bad spots in life, not of our own choosing. Sometimes it is a choice. Sometimes we've made decisions that have put us in a bad spot, whether it's personal, relational, physical, financial. There's a lot of different ways we can put ourselves in a bad spot. But sometimes we are in a bad spot, a bad rhythm because of things that have just happened in life or because mentally we're just not in the right place, in the right headspace. That's why I always say therapy matters because it gives you a chance and an outlet of somebody that's on your side, that's got your back, that supports you and encourages you, but also confronts you on what you're doing in life to help life get better instead of a friend or a family member or a neighbor or somebody that you're talking to that's gonna have more bias and more judgment towards the situation. When you look at your own mental health, you can be honest like she's being here. I'm just stuck in this rhythm. I know I'm in this rhythm. I can't get out of this rhythm. The way to get out of rhythms like this is looking at your past patterns. It's looking at what you've done to end up in this spot. What things have happened, how you've perceived situations, the way you notice what it did to you with that relationship, with that work situation, with that friend, with that family, with that past, and what those things did to you, the way you saw them, and what it told you about yourself, the core belief that planted into your brain because of what happened. And then sometimes we get in these patterns and these rhythms that repeat the cycle relationally, work-wise, financially, emotionally, spiritually. We have to get out of those and that's why mental health matters. But she's saying it so well. Inside of my brain. Yep. Mama's always used to leaving cause she don't see a good reason to stay. Ah. She's always been that way Woo. And never changed it And daddy's always keeping busy Cause he got demons he don't wanna face oh. He's always God. been that way And every 
every day I, I would wonder why I feel this way inside And it won't go away But looking back I see yep. How they're a part of me yep. And I'm out here doing the same yep. 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 So Children pay the price for adult choices. I say it all the time. We didn't ask to be on this world. We pay the price for what our parents go through. Great people, nothing against them. But children are the consequence of what that is. So the life that you grow up in, and when she described mom kind of going away and dad always being busy, you know, that's that kind of dismissive parenting that happens when you look at uh, attachment styles. And, you know, they just kind of are always doing things and, and having to be places. And so you feel like you're just not as important and kind of almost shoved away a little bit. Like, oh, I've got things to do. I've got other stuff happening. And when you get that dismissive, it's kind of the dismissive avoidant attachment where you end up growing up a little bit avoidant. I'd be curious about our relationships because sometimes you can just avoid intimacy, avoid closeness, avoid vulnerability with people in relationships to avoid seriousness because I don't want to deal with the problems and I don't want to have somebody leave me again like happened in the past. So that dismissive avoidant thing can happen. And this is describing, because I went through all that, it's got me stuck in this spot. How do I get out of it? Well, run, still The brother's just like, I'm just going to get away from it. Easiest way to not deal with things is not deal with things. So I just get out of the way. And then the sister's all loving. She's the one who's the pleaser, who's the enabler, who's the one that's going to, I'm just going to love. I'm just going to give what we have not gotten at all. And so you get these bits and siblings and families where they each kind of have their trait. And then usually it's like, it's like in this case, this other sister is just kind of stuck in the middle of like, it's kind of like they're her parents in a way because she looks up to them and loves them. But brother's gone. Again, another person that leaves her. Sister hasn't left her, but can't protect her from everything. She never changes. But once in a while, we get a little wild and do the things that we hate. Yep. But in the in the string.
You don't have to go the way that it flows inside of your veins. Yeah. Cause you ain't your blood. <laughs> you more than enough. Oh, amen. And you'll be okay. Gosh. Tatiana Manoy, I couldn't have asked for anything more than that. You're more than enough. And you'll be okay. Just because blood runs through your veins, just because it's like a river, doesn't mean you have to follow that line. It does not. You can stop generational cycles and generational patterns. You can do it differently. Help is required, though. That's the great mental health piece of this. Getting help is a good thing. Suffering alone will only create the same patterns over again. You don't have to do it the way you've been shown. You don't have to do it the way you've been taught. I love this message. It's done so well. This is country music. I'm going to ask her if this is meant to be country music because it sounds so good. And her voice, I adore. I cannot wait to see her one day in person, hopefully, because she's got such a good message to spread. Thank you, Tatiana, for this song today. Rhythms, what a great thing. Remember, sitting real therapy, just Tom breaking down lyrics. If you want help, check the links in the description. Leave us your comments. And remember, mental health matters. Go get some. It's worth it. We'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy.